This is how I make my pour over coffee. First we're going to start with fresh ground beans. I'm using a blend of Robusto and Arabica from Noyen Coffee Importers, which is a Vietnamese company, and I'm using an old Bodum grinder. I have it set to the finest ground, and I'm going to grind it for about 15 seconds. Oh, that smells good. Let's give it a little shake. Next we're going to use some filtered tap water. Uh, make sure it's nice and cold. Using a Hario pour over kettle, I'm going to put it on a high flame and get it boiling. Um, some people measure the temperature out to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I just let it boil. I'm not that concerned about a 5 degree temperature difference. Alright, let's pour the grinds into the funnel. I'm using a metal filter instead of paper. I don't find that much of a difference in flavor and the metal is more convenient. Uh, here's my secret. I'm going to put a tiny pinch of salt, just a little bit, into the grinds. And that's going to help cut the bitterness and the acidity from almost every coffee bean that I've ever used. Just a very small amount. Helps take the edge off. Alright, we're almost ready and it smells really good. Can't wait for that water to finish boiling. Now, what I'm going to do is make sure that once I start the actual pour over process, I'm going to keep the heat on very, very low just to make sure that the water doesn't get cold because the pour over can take a couple of minutes and you don't want the water to cool off significantly while you're doing it. All right, the goal of the first pour is to get all of the grounds wet. Uh, because it's fresh ground, it's really going to bloom up. So you got to just pour a little bit of water in there and let the bloom blow up and then settle a little bit before we continue pouring. All right, and uh, after it settles for a moment, we're going to start the long pour. Now, the strategy here is to just kind of make sure you cover all of the grounds, uh, pouring very gently so that you get the extra maximum extraction from the coffee grounds. Um, at some point, you'll see that I am actually pouring a little more aggressively, and the idea is to kind of force a little bit of water into the center to kind of stir it up so that there's some agitation in there. What we don't want is to just have a, a constant even pour in the same space because at that point it's basically the same way a drip pot works and uh, that's no good. That kind of defeats the purpose of a pour over. And so the real technique is that you're using the water to slowly pour and cover the grounds and sort of agitate and mix them as you're pouring slowly. So the total pour time is around a minute and uh, once that's done, uh, you're going to have a delicious cup of coffee. Oh, that smells so good, and I promise it's going to taste great. Thank you so much for watching.